So shout out to the comment section down below for calling me out for this one because I actually did mess up in my last video. But these cards last night that were released yesterday were glitched. So this is the huge glitch that happened last night and a lot of people made a crap ton of coins for. I didn't make a video because I didn't really want it to get patched and for people to not be able to still make coins, you know, which are all trying to eat out here. So I know everyone's gonna post glitches. They're gonna post videos about glitches and stuff. But personally speaking, I didn't want to be a part of that because I don't like it when EA knows that we know about glitches because it stops us from making coins. But this is actually not a glitch you see on your screen right here. This is correct. So it's supposed to quick sell for 100,000 coins. So for example, all the cards in this pack, you get a fancy pack of all these cards and they all quick sell for 100K. So if you're good enough and you're a good player, you're gonna be able to grind out 16 games and get 100,000 coins, which is awesome. But last night this was glitched and it would give you 100,000 training. So not coins, but training. And if we do the math real fast, right now training is going for 82.35 coins per training, which is insane. Um, so for example, if you had 100,000 training times eight, uh, 82.35, that's 8.2 million coins. So pretty much the equivalent value of what this card was quick selling for last night is around 8.235 million coins. So you can see where the problem really stemmed from, right? Is that this card was, in all seriousness, this was a game-breaking glitch. And it seems like this happens left, right, and center all the time with EA Sports. Um, again, you know, it's nice that they do give us a card that quick sells for 100k. And if you are good enough, then yeah, you're going to be able to get a free 100k. But when you're giving away the potential value of 8.235 million coins, whew, and there's a lot of people who got the, who did this glitch last night, so the market is shot at the moment. <laughs> And it's going to be for quite a bit. Now, I'm not sure if EA Sports is going to try to roll back anything or try to fix something. They did fix it this morning. They patched the glitch. So there's no issue there. Um, again, like I said, whenever a glitch happens, I try to post about it in my community tab if it's happening. But I don't like to post on Twitter or make a video about it. Because even though, yes, it would get a crap ton of views, I would get a crap ton of views for the channel, maybe new subscribers, it would be hurting people who are doing the glitch and when it comes to coin making glitches i don't want people to know and i know zerxy and all these other youtubers will post videos or they'll post stuff on the um on their twitter about it i wish they wouldn't in all honesty um i think as a community we should come together and not post about glitches other than our community tabs because EA Sports doesn't really look at our community tabs ever. So it could be like a, a thing where it's like, hey guys, glitch happening, post on the community tab. You know, yeah, as a creator, we're gonna make less money, right? That we're not gonna make any money off the community tab, but it helps out the community, you know? And I, I, that's something that I'll always think about. And again, like I said, I know this is a business for everyone, myself included, but especially with glitches, man, let's just, we, we got to stop letting EA Sports find out about them. Now, there will still be people who post about it no matter what, and non-content creators will post on Twitter or social media about it, but I just feel like there's a way we could try to avoid EA Sports from finding out and also help out more of the community to find out about these glitches. Because we post on social media or YouTube, EA finds out right away, which makes it so that not more, uh, there's only a certain amount of people that can actually find out and take advantage of these glitches. We saw a glitch that happened in the cut around a couple months ago that only, you know, it lasted 10 minutes. And if it, we don't talk about it on social media and we just post on community tabs as YouTubers, we can avoid people from finding out. And we can have more people, you know, enjoy the glitches and enjoy it where it's more balanced for everybody. So I don't know. Again, like I said, maybe I'm crazy to say that. Maybe I'm insane, but that's kind of my cup of tea. Shout out to comment section for correcting me when I was wrong on this one. 100,000 coins is the correct value of what it should be. Peace out.